Okay, today I'm going to be unboxing a uh, transfer switch uh, from, it looks like, Go Power, uh, powered by Carmana. It's a 30 amp transfer switch. I'm gonna be installing this in an RV, not a boat or a home, but an RV. Uh, Navion 24J, made by Winnebago. Uh, I'm gonna use this in conjunction with a Xantrex 30. 3012 inverter, a 3000 watt inverter. Uh, this is for when you plug into shore power or you kick on the generator within the RV. It waits so many milliseconds or so many seconds, not sure which, um, but it waits until you actually have enough voltage to supply your, uh, your different devices within the RV, the outlets. Uh, that way there you you don't uh, you're not feeding power to your RV at say uh, you know 80 volts rather than the 120 it's, it, it's expecting to see so that delay which this transfer switch gives you that delay uh, actually gives you gives the unit time to build up to 120 volts and uh, then when it kicks on it go it uh, it's where it should be so now I'm gonna go ahead and open this guy up uh, see what's in it Pretty light, really light. So there you have it. This is it. Let's get rid of the box. Uh, let's get rid of this packing material. And there you go, 30 amps. Uh, it is what it is. Let me see, let's open this thing up if we can. And need directions to open it up. Pop that off. That's it. You're looking at it. Just got yourself a little diagram here. All right. So basically, you've got your. Uh, looks like you've got hot and neutral coming in. Um, gen hot and neutral. So I'm assuming this is going to be from the generator. And then also hot and neutral is going to be from the uh, actual shore power. And I'm looking, I don't see any ground. So I'm not sure what happens with the ground. The, uh, I do not see any, let me check real quick. I see no documentation uh, whatsoever. So essentially, I'm going to be, have to rely on this diagram, which it looks pretty straightforward. Uh, this basically right here, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it says two panel, hot and neutral. Generator hot, generator neutral. I'm assuming gen means generator. Uh, power cord, hot and neutral. Again, I don't see any place to put your ground. So I don't know if that plays into it. And I'm also not sure what these are for. Uh, which are those located right here. I don't know if you can see that. So it's there for a reason. But I figure I'm gonna pop into here. Probably one of these. Come in through here. One of these or pop these out and just tie up into these guys and you're done. It's actually kind of bulky. Uh, it, it, this could definitely be made much narrower. Uh, and it would uh, both ways, um, uh, width wise and depth wise, and you could save a lot of space. The the area where I plan on putting this in the uh, Navion 24J is in the power bay, and the power bay doesn't have a whole lot of room. So it would have been really nice if they would have like downsized this to some degree and provide some some level of directions. Uh, again, I think this is probably plenty, but you know there's some people who you know, may not be comfortable just guessing that this is generator, uh, you know, hot and neutral, but I, I'm a gambling man. I'm going to look online, see what I can find first. Of course, I don't want to blow up the RV. My wife would kill me. So uh, that's really it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and install this with the uh, Xantrex 3000 inverter along with the control panel. And I'll post that video up uh, of the installation, which uh, should be pretty extensive uh, when, when all is said and done. I got a lot of holes to drill, cables to run, 
uh, and once I'm done, I'll post that up as well. So thanks for watching. Bye.